Good evening. Good evening, hello. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, right? Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you all today. Thank you for being here. Just let me check something right now. I'm downloading here the pictures that we need to use. Just give me one sec. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, eh, en este momento voy de camino a, a, a mi casa, voy del trabajo. Okay. Eh, por eso es que se oye así, pero voy a estar de oyente. Okay, so put your microphone off. That's perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, uh, well, everyone, nice to meet you, right? My name is Silvia Ramos, and I'm going to be your assigned teacher for module five. I'm really glad to have you here. We are, you have practice and stay a long time with us. So thank you so much, right? We really appreciate that you're taking the effort to work every day at this time of the day, right? So we're going to start today with a few things that we need to learn about module five, right? And a little bit about me as well. It's important for you to know who we are and who you're going to be with, with in this module, right? In module five. Now, let's go ahead and start working together here. Just give me one moment. I see only Jose, Susana, Rene, just a few people here. I don't see everyone. That's so bad, so, so bad. Give me a sec. Let me see who is here. Okay. Okay, let's see who is here. Today is Tuesday, 25th of January. Ana Mercedes Maya Corado. Ana Mercedes? No, okay. Andrea Laurena Vasquez Martinez. Andrea Laurena. I had a friend called Laureano, so it's very similar. Laurena, not here. Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña. Carlos Mario. Carlos René Rivas Lopez. I think it's the guy. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carmen René Calderón de, Ra de Vázquez. Present. Delmi Guadalupe Lomes, eh, Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. No. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquía. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Present. Thank you, Helen. Jose Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Presente. Thank you. Kevin Vladimir Gutierrez Castillo. Kevin. Marlon Balmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Marlon. Maura Estela Orantes Fernández. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Reina. Present, teacher. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. 
Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente, teacher. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez de Nieto. Present. Mario Alexander Artega Campos. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Okay. So we have the attendance for today. So let me just write something here. Right. Sorry, teacher. I have a problem with microphone. Present. Okay, just give me a moment. Just one second here. What is your name? Elsa Merino de Villeda. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Carlos Avendaño. Carlos Avendaño, okay. We're going to put first Elsa Merino de Villeda and Carlos Avendaño. Carlos Mario, okay. Very good. Thank you. Now, we're going to do the following, right? We start with the attendance, right? And every day, I'm going to try to take attendance at 8.01, 8.02, right? If you are not in the attendance the first time, then you will have to wait until 9 p.m., right? Then we're going to take attendance the second time. Then we're going to have the attendance the last time is going to be at 10 p.m., right? Three times during the night. Now. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to do in this basic module five, right? This is uh, Principiante Cinco, right? Basic module five. So our classes are going to be in full English. We're not going to speak Spanish in these classes. We're going to try to give our best to speak in English right? Even though you make mistakes, if you make mistakes, perfect. Don't worry about making mistakes, okay? If you make mistakes, then that is, it's going to be my job to help you and tell you, way we can improve your English, right? So, don't worry if you make mistakes. We're going to start here. My name, like I said to you before, my name is Sylvia. This is a little bit of what I have done in my life as a teacher, right? A, just a little bit, right? And my working experience, right? My working experience. So you are in good hands for your classes, right? You are in really good hands. So let's continue here. Uh, requirements, requirements that we need for INSA for classes. You already know this, right? This is not your first time with us. And this time I will have to switch to Spanish, right? Because INSAFO requires me to switch to Spanish, okay? INSAFO me solicita que esta información se les proporcione en, en español. Entonces la vamos a proporcionar en español. Requerimientos que ustedes deben tener para estas clases. Eh, creo que todos ya han estado en clases de INSAFO, ¿verdad? Hasta el módulo 5. ¿Hay alguien que sea la primera vez que esté en INSAFO con nosotros? Hola. No, no hay nadie. Todos ya han estado acá. Entonces, todos ya sabemos los requisitos o requerimientos que se necesitan. Nombre completo al conectarse, por favor. Entonces, acá no podemos tener solamente a Edgar Chacón, el Saberina, Helen Barraza. Necesito sus nombres completos al momento de estar en la clase. ¿Por qué? Porque así nos lo audita Insafor. ¿verdad? Entonces, yo necesito que todos tengan José Daniel Menes Bolaños, nombre y apellido, tal cual aparece en su eh, documento DUI. ¿Eh? Así debe, debe aparecer. Entonces, eh, no podemos aparecer solo con un nombre, con un apellido, que diga Samsung, no sé qué, o iPhone, no sé qué, cuando se conectan. ¿Okay? Debe tener su nombre completo, por favor. Ahora, veamos acá qué dice en el chat. Ok, teacher, ok. Eh, en el caso de oyentes, vamos a tener personas que, eh, que son oyentes. Ya sabe cada quien, quien es, eh, está como oyente. Un oyente no significa que no va a tener la misma responsabilidad de participar en clase. 
un oyente, eh, a diferencia de, de René, que ese día está de oyente porque, porque va en el, en el bus o va manejando, no sé cómo, ¿verdad? Pero hay personas que ya están con esa figura de oyente, no se alcanzaron a matricular completamente, entonces están de oyente en la clase. Entonces van a decir, por ejemplo, José Daniel Ménez de Bolaños, entre paréntesis, oyente. Ok, por ejemplo, no sé si él es oyente o no, él ya, sabe, ya sabrá si lo es o no. Entonces, esa persona debe ponerse como oyente en la clase, eso no es eh, solicitud, es mandatorio, ok, para todos, para todos los que son oyentes. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, también es obligación, si usted no tiene la cámara encendida, entonces no estamos cumpliendo con los requisitos que nos pide INSAFOR. Nosotros sabemos, bueno, yo estoy consciente de que todos llegamos de trabajar, ya nos quitamos la ropa, nos ponemos así ropita más tranquila, pijamas, qué sé yo, está bien, no hay problema. Todos somos adultos y entendemos que estamos cansados a esta hora del día. Ok, entonces, por favor, enciendan sus cámaras. Eso es primordial. Y hay que minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Quiere decir que vamos a tener que, tengo problema con la cámara. Si usted tiene problemas con la cámara, María Alexander, tiene que informar la administración, ¿ok? Porque sí, eso no es eh, voluntario, eso es también obligación de cada uno de ustedes mantener su cámara encendida. Si no, la asistencia prácticamente no le vale. Eh, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible, ¿verdad? Eso quiere decir, a veces, no sé si se han fijado en alguna clase que tenemos como mucho sonido al fondo, y no, es imposible para los demás escuchar. Entonces, encendemos nuestro micrófono cuando vamos a participar. Si ya participamos, pum, lo apagamos. ¿Ok? Simple y sencillo. Si, escucho, si yo escucho mucho sonido, mucho, mucho sonido ambiente, un perrito ladrando, o nuestra familia a veces que está bien alegre en la casa haciendo ruido, yo le voy a apagar el micrófono. ¿Ok? para que los demás podamos compartir la clase sin ningún problema. Participación activa. Esto no me preocupa porque a mí no me gusta pedir voluntarios. Yo le voy a decir directamente, Oscar, participe. Carlos, dígame esto. Susana, dígame tal cosa. Ok, entonces la participación no es eh, a voluntad de ustedes. Todos tienen que participar. Eh, veamos, perfecto, perfecto que ya esté trabajando en eso. Entendemos estos puntos eh, de, la, de las clases. Este es un recordatorio. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿No hay preguntas? Solo sé que Francisco dijo que no, de los demás no sé, asumo que es Por un no. Por parte no, tampoco estoy claro. Por parte no, ok, muchas gracias Carlos. Luego seguimos, As, eh, empezamos con asistencia al 100% de las clases, es muy importante que estemos en las clases. Recuérdense que esto es, es prácticamente una beca que, que, que proporciona Instafor y ellos son bien meticulosos, bien piqui, como decimos en inglés, pero bien piqui, que siempre están verificando la asistencia aún por minutos. Y si usted se conectó a las 8 y 2, entonces le van a quitar esos dos minutos, créanlo o no. Entonces, tenemos que estar bien pendientes de la asistencia. Y, bueno, se va, la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino a, a cumplir con toda la clase completa. Si usted vino a las, 8 y, a las 8 en punto y se fue a las 8 y 15, solamente 15 minutos se le van a tomar de su asistencia. Entonces, debemos estar bien atentos con eso. Y, bueno, la vamos a tomar la asistencia tres veces, a las 8, a las 9 y a las, casi a las 10, 9.55 de la noche, antes que se vayan, ¿verdad? Y se tomará como válida siempre que estemos con nuestra cámara encendida. Si no, eh, Insafor a veces asume que es eh, fraude el que se está cometiendo con la asistencia, entonces debemos de tener la cámara encendida. ¿Verdad? Eh, ¿Preguntas al respecto del punto 1 y punto 2? ¿Asistencia y cámara? No. ¿No? Ok. Sesiones 1 a 1 disponibles. Estas sesiones de 1 a 1 se van a hacer por número de lista. Del 1 hasta el número 20. Son 10 minutos que se le asignan a cada uno de ustedes por si tienen preguntas acerca de la clase. Eh, por decir algo, este día le corresponde a... El Samerino, quedarse porque está en la número, es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Es la número uno en la lista, pero Elsa dice, no, no tengo preguntas. Entonces, por favor, 
eh, informemos que no nos vamos a quedar por si alguien más se quiere quedar y tomamos ventaja de esos 10 minutos. ¿Ok? Entonces, hay que, eh, ya les voy a mostrar, eh, ya les voy a decir qué números son para que estén eh, pendientes. Permisos no hay disponibles. Y esto me gusta decirlo eh, para, para que estemos todos bastante claros con cómo se trabaja, perdón, cómo se trabaja con INSAFOR. Eh, ¿Y eso qué le pasó? Ok, ahí. Eh, como profesores, no estamos capacitados para dar permisos. Okay. Entonces, cuando ustedes, si han dado caso, ustedes envían un, un mensajito o me envían el WhatsApp, aparte, mire, teacher, hoy no podrá asistir por tal y tal cosa. En este caso, si ustedes me están hablando de que no pueden asistir a clases, yo lo voy a dejar solamente en visto, así con los chequecitos azul y ya estuvo. Okay. ¿Por qué razón? Porque yo no les puedo decir sí, no, comprendo, porque en este caso yo ya estoy... A, asumiendo o ya me estoy dando por enterada que usted va a faltar. Entonces, usted eh, ya sabe que tiene que asistir a clases, ¿verdad? Y nosotros no podemos decir, sí, mira, Oscarito, falta a clase, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Porque no podemos, no tenemos esa facultad eh, administrativa para darles permiso, ¿verdad? Entonces, así que no se vayan a molestar si solamente los dejen visto. ¿Verdad? No les puedo mandarle una carita feliz porque si yo le tengo una carita feliz, pues, ah, no, me manda una carita feliz, quiere decir que está de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, hay que estar pendiente de eso para que después me digan, la teacher no me dio permiso. Luego, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones. Ya todos sabemos que tenemos una plataforma que debemos cumplir de forma semanal, ¿verdad? Y al terminar cada unidad. La única vez que vamos a tratar de terminar antes son cuando tenemos los parciales, por lo menos tenerlo finalizado los viernes, ¿verdad? Para tener los gestos. También hay tareas que se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Estas tareas eh, vamos a tratar de tenerlas, yo sé que trabajan dos o tres veces por semana, una preguntita para que practiquemos las estructuras. Abajo del video vamos a tener ese, esa, esa pregunta, ese chat, ese foro que lo vamos a a contestar y por decir algo si Nelson escribe una respuesta pero Laureana ve y dice mm, no verdad yo creo que él podría mejorar en esto fíjate Nelson de que no es así es así verdad siempre con su debido respeto hay que trabajar como equipo para que podamos aprender entre todos ok aquí no solo yo no los, solo soy yo sino que todos vamos a aprender de todos ¿verdad? porque todos sabemos a veces o están en, en sus equipos de breakout rooms, hay solo tres y uno tal vez sabe una palabra que los otros dos no, entonces compartamos esa información para que aprendamos. Que okay, vamos a hacer bastante uso del chat también para que escriban sus respuestas. Eh, todas las tareas y temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar com, eh, tienen que estar completa esa información cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor de forma semanal. Okay. No lo vamos a completar domingo, no lo vamos a completar sábado, viernes por la noche debe estar completo. Y la fecha límite para terminar el examen es el viernes 17 de septiembre. Viernes. Uy, viernes 17 de septiembre. No, es, eh, no estamos en septiembre. ¿Qué mes estamos? Enero, ¿verdad? <ríe> ya les voy a dar la fecha en la que debe estar completo. Sería dentro de dos semanas. Y el último para febrero 24, si no estoy más, más equivocada. El manual ya lo enviaron por el chat. Los, creo que los que se acaban de unir al, al chat de WhatsApp, hay como tres que se acaban de unir. Ellos no han descargado el manual. Ya lo voy a enviar yo de nuevo para que lo tengan disponible. De ahí lo pueden descargar o de la plataforma, del chat de WhatsApp. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿No? No. Claro, ¿verdad? Bueno, el, el Zoom ya lo dijimos, botón silencio, cámara, chats, vamos a utilizar chat bastante, el breakout room también, eh, aquí en el chat lo voy a hacer que escriban sus respuestas, yo no puedo ver sus cuadernos, pero necesito saber cómo están escribiendo también, entonces por eso vamos a usar el chat. Eh, breakout rooms, vamos a utilizar bastante para que participen entre ustedes, y si tienen alguna pregunta cuando estén en el breakout room, Recuérdense que hay una, una opción para que ustedes pidan ayuda al, al moderador, en este caso soy yo, 
veo su, su solicitud y si no estoy ocupada con otro equipo, me voy donde ustedes inmediatamente. ¿Okay? Si no, me hacen una esperita para poder llegar. Y eso, chicos y chicas, es prácticamente todo lo que tengo que compartirles acerca del módulo, del inicio del módulo. ¿Algo más? ¿No? no, en mi caso creo que estoy claro. Ok, perfecto. ¿Los demás estamos claros? Sí, entendí claro. correctamente. Ok, perfecto. Thank you, Francisco. Claro. So, we're going to start with our classes claro. now. Thank you. We're going to switch to English, right? Because it's better. Just let me open here this class. Now, we are in beginner five, so we have a lot of new words that we can practice, right? And we're going to start here with our first class, right? Our first class is called Words to Use, Steps in Progress, right? So we're going to learn how to, like, how to give a progress, how to describe a process, right? That's what we need to know. Many of us have like a process to follow when we are saying things. Right? So to cover this, we're going to have these objectives or these competences that we need to accomplish. I would like, please, to read number one, Susana, number two, Delmi, number three, Carlos Avendaño, and number four, Oscar Mauricio. Okay, number one, mark a step in a process. Thank you. Number two. Tell me. Introduce important information about a product. Excellent. Tell someone how to do something by using imperatives. Imperatives, very good. And number four? Ah, perdón. Eh. My name is Mauricio. No, you have to read this information, Oscar. Only read. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Discuss. Discuss is information. Uh, only. Only. Um, no, I need you to read this. Only um, home. There is a home. Mauricio, Mauricio, listen Dígame. to me, okay? Read number four. Discuss. Oh, okay. so, oh. Si no puede ser en español, yo lo voy a ver cómo no, lo digo you en are inglés. going to read. Read. Lea. Read. Read. Ajá. Uh -huh. Like your friends. Repeat, repeat after me. Discuss and write about the equipment of my company. Repeat. Discuss and write the equipment in the company. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Mauricio. Now, we're thank going you. to practice a lot, right, for this class. Do you have questions, guys and girls, about this, this vocabulary? Do you understand the vocabulary, everyone? Yes? Clear? Yes. Poquito. Yeah, okay. This, discuss. A little bit. Uh -huh. Discuss. Discuss is to talk about. Right. For example, let's say, hey, let's talk about the new iPhone. Right? Oh, let's discuss about, or oh, let's discuss the new iPhone. So, discuss is the same as talk about okay mm -hmm. it's to describe to give more information thank you now let's see let's see let's continue with the first i have a first class remember our unit one right is called manufacturing so manufacturing is to create something right to create for example how do you think they manufacture this pair of scissors they have to create this. I don't know how they, how do they, 
puts everything together, right? So that's manufacture, to create, right? Now let's start with the first activity. Let me go ahead and put this here. A moment. We have the first question. Okay, this is the first question that we are going to answer, right? We have two questions here, but uh, Marlo, read question number one, Elsa Merino, read question number two. Okay, number one, what do you know about manufacturing? How, how does your company manufacture? How does your company manufacture? Very good. We have two questions, right? We have two questions there. Now let's think about the possible answers, right? How do, who works in a factory? Let's say here, who works in a factory? Do you know what is a factory? What is a factory? What? Fabrica. No, yo no. Very good. Very good, right? Where do you work, Carlos? Uh, I'm a salesman. Uh, I sell medicine. Okay. I'm a pharmacy. You sell a, a medicine in a pharmacy, okay? For a yeah. pharmacy. Yes. Very good. And how do they manufacture the medicine? Tell me. Do you know? Uh, just a little bit. It's ah. in the laboratory. Okay, they, they do it in the laboratory. With, what else? With process, but uh, I I don't know precisely the, the, the process of, of every step inside the laboratory. Okay, that's perfect. Very good. That's a great answer. He doesn't know these steps, but he knows that they do it in a laboratory. Okay, very good. What about you? Let's see here. Carmen, where do you work? Mm, good evening, teacher. I work in the Veteran Institute. Veteran Institute. Oh, do you know I did? I'm kidding. <laughs> she was my student last year. Okay, what do they do in the, in the Veteran Institute? In the uh, cooperation. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, very good. And do they create a product there? No. No? No, I they don't, don't create. create. You don't create a product. For example, you, you are, guys, you are my products because I mm. create your language. No, I'm kidding. Yes. Very good, Rene. In this case, you don't have a product. That's perfect. Who creates a product in their companies or in their jobs? Nobody? Nobody creates the products. Here, uh, nobody? No. It's a service for the people. <laughs> Ah, okay. Don't worry. I'm ready for that. I'm ready for that. Don't worry. We all create a service for the people. Very good. So, but you create something, right? You create okay. something. When you service, you have to follow a process, right? You have to follow a process. That's what we're going to talk about, right? If you look at the picture here, right? When we manufacture, you know, I have, I have other students that they are from another institution, of course, but they are electricians, all of them. All of them are electricians and they create, you know, different things. They create radios, they create prototypes. So they do something like this, right? Real products. But sometimes we need to follow other processes to create. For example, uh, who cooks here? Does anybody cook? Yes, yes, very good. So when we cook, we create something. We manufacture things, right? What do you cook, Andrea? Uh, a little bit uh, old. Uh, okay. 
soaps, eh, okay. lasaña, eh, eggs, okay. beans. Eggs, beans, okay, very good. I'm hungry, actually. I didn't have dinner, so I'm hungry. <laughs> very good. So you create soups, right? Today I ate uh, like beef soup, right? So that's very common in Salvador. Soup, right, very good. What about you, Nelson? Do you cook? Yes. What do you cook? I am, um, I like meat, fish, okay. cocktail. Okay. And do you know how to prepare a cocktail? Um. Yes. Um. Oh. And fish. Um. Camarones, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> Shrimps. 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 Uh huh. Shell. Oof, delicious, right? With a michelada, right? Very good, right? Very good. So we have there, right? Even when you cook, when you are in the class, right? You are manufacturing something. You are following a process, right? And that's what we're going to do here. Just let me put something here. One moment. Food, food, food. Okay, shrimps. Very good. Now, I will put some vocabulary there in the chat. Remember, right, when we have new words, right, I'm going to try to put them all in the chat, right, so you can check them all, right, and take <coughs> notes, right? That's vocabulary. Now, when we manufacture things, we're going to start here with a conversation from our manual, right? Let me share here with you. Can you see my computer right now with the book? Yes, very good. So first, 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 I am going to read the conversation, okay? After that, you are going to practice, right? So please pay attention to me. I am going to be Anna and Mark. So let's do this, right? We have Anna and Mark. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar in bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Now, I want you to pay attention to exclamation marks right exclamation absolutely sounds great and then that's a question can they eat it right let's practice here so i want Anne is going to be ruben de jesus and mark is going to be nelson let's try it Ruben, you're Anna. Hello. Mark, Mark will you explain what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is now how we make our top seller first. We add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds good. And then? Finality, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. 
the amount of sugar. It's too high. We consider that customer and we have other product. We have a candy, candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Very good. Thank you so much, Nelson. Thank you so much. Over there, Mr. I forgot your name. I cannot see you anymore. I don't know. But thank you. Thank you so much. Now, everyone, everyone, please repeat these words on mute. Okay. Nelson and Ruben, you are going to speak with the microphones open. Okay. Everyone on mute. Right. Because we're not going to be like rezando here, right? So only Nelson and Ruben are going to repeat out loud and the other ones on mute. So please repeat here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Right. Absolutely. Ruben, I didn't hear you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Now, one more time here, please, because I want you to have very good pronunciation. Just give me one second. There we are, right? And tan tan tan. Okay. Chocolate. 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 Okay, listen. Chocolate. 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 Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. Ch chocolate. Hey, there you are. Very good. Now sliced 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 very good thank you to the ones who are practicing very good very good now this one sounds 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 very good finally finally, finally. excellent diabetic 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 very good. Amount of. Amount of. Amount of. Those. 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 Have. 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 Great. 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 Very good. Now we're gonna have two people. Thank you so much for pronouncing these words with me, right? We're going to have two more people. Anna is going to be Delmi, and here Francisco Nemias is going to be Mark. Okay, so let's practice. Okay. Mark, would you explain who's what the manufacturing process? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller first. We add the thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almond. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. Mm -hmm. But, but what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar of uh, sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, very well. Now we're go just gonna check these words. What was the pronunciation of this word here? Who remembers this word? Yeah, diabetic. Diabetic, kind of. What was the correct Diabetic. pronunciation? What? Diabetic. 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 Right? Diabetic. Diabetic. Very good. 
Vaya a ver. English, sometimes you have to connect the words, okay? In English, we're not going to talk like, would you explain us? No. Would you explain us? It sounds like one word, right? We connect the words. Would you explain us? Right? So here, we're going to say, we cannot say, can they eat it? That's correct pronunciation, but it's not correct intonation. So we're going to read it. Can they eat it? Can they eat it? They eat it. Can they eat it? Right? Can you repeat one more time, Dali? Can they eat it? There you are. Different, right? Very good. Now here, amount. 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 Very good. Considered. Considered. Great. 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 Very good. Great. Like you say, oh, I have 100 in my exam. Great. Right? It's something exciting. It's exciting. You can say, oh, I, I bought five pupusas. Great. <laughs> right? Five pupusas, I mean. Right? But you say, I bought five pupusas. Great. Right? It's not the same. Right? When you say great, it's because you are excited. Right? You're happy about that. So, do you understand this conversation? Do you have questions about vocabulary, pronunciation, anything that you would like to ask? Ask mm -hmm. questions. If you need to ask questions, ask questions. This is for everyone. Questions? Mm -hmm. No? No. Are you sure? La layer. Oh, I think layer. layer. A layer. layer. Okay, very good. I will show you. A layer. Let's. I have a lot of papers here, so. Let's make the example with papers, okay? <sighs> with notebooks. Let's suppose, right? I'm making, I'm making a cake right now, a cake of notebooks, of course. You know, a cake for my birthday, right? So I'm gonna put first a thick, a thick layer of chocolate, right? Then I'm gonna put another layer of sliced almonds. And then oh. I'm going to put another layer of a slice of oh, ginger, right? For example, when you make a lasagna, right, Andrea? When you make a lasagna, you put a layer of the pasta, right? Then a layer of cheese, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to cook. So <laughs> Then you put another layer of, of meat and then layers and layers and layers. Okay. Do you know what a layer is? How would you say layer in Spanish, Nemias? Uh, capas. Exactly. There you are. Right. Very <laughs> good. You see? That's a layer. Right. Now, another question, everyone. Thank you for your question, Nemias. Anybody else has a question? No? No, no questions. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. We're gonna practice today, right here. Based on this question, we have, based on this conversation, I'm sorry, we have two questions. Can you read question number one, René Rivas, and question number two, Mario Alexander? René, read question Me number, number one. one teacher. Mm -hmm. In the page nine. Yes. Can you look at the uh, computer, please? Look at the computer. Okay. In my computer, uh, uh, I see the, the book. Yes. Please read question number one. Okay. What are the words marked? use uh, to indicate uh, the part of the manufacturing process? Okay, René, question number two. What are the negative side of Mark's product? 
Very good. What are the negative sides of mark product? So we have these two questions, right? You are going to have five minutes in the breakup rooms to answer these questions. You're going to be in pairs, okay? You are going to work, for example, Marlon is going to work with Andrea together and they are going to answer these two questions based on the conversation. The answers are here, right? Here, you have the answers to these two questions. You are not going to invent anything. You already have the answers, okay? You will have five minutes to answer this. Are you ready? Yes, no? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, yes, let's sure. see. We're gonna go in pairs. Everyone, please participate. Let's start. Let's go to the rooms. Okay. okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Click on join, please. Go, 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 go. Emilia, Edgar, Jose, Oscar, Nelson. Click on your groups. You ha you received a message, Mauricio. Recibió un mensaje ahí en la pantalla donde decía que se conectara. No lo recibió, Reina Margarita, usted tampoco. Póngamelo de nuevo, por favor. Si no. Lo voy a enviar a un grupo y después se tienen que unir. Eh, Edgar, Reina, recibieron el mensaje. Kevin. Ahorita. ¿Ya lo recibió Oscar? Eh, fíjese que yo solo estoy esperando que me entre en mi teléfono porque este no tiene carga. Solo quiero ingresar a la, al Zoom de, de, de mi otro teléfono porque ya se me va a acabar este. Ok. Edgar Chacón. ¿Qué happens to you? Edgar. Ok, lo voy a dejar solos porque tengo que monitorear los otros equipos. See you in a moment. Almendra, algo así. Sí. Ajá. Ajá. And in English, how would you say that? How, would you, how do you say almendras in English? Estela almonds. Almonds. Very good. Almonds. So practice, practice. Okay. 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 Any questions um, about the activity? No? Uh, uh, I understand that question number one. Que en español, él pregunta que cuáles son las... las los procesos, el, ¿cuál es el proceso para, para realizarlo, verdad? Exactly. Okay. That is correct. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay. <laughs> the part for the manufacturing process. Mm -hmm. Supuestamente en español es cuáles son las palabras marca utilizadas para indicar la las partes del proceso de facturación. Ok, but let's, let's try uh -huh. not to translate. Let's try not to translate. Si traducimos todo, nos va a costar mucho aprender inglés. Ok, tratemos de interpretarlo. Ok, y no traducir. El eh, nombre one is what are the negative this no, seeded of mark product. Uh -huh. Esas son las dos respuestas que tenemos que dicha, de buscar. Yes. Ella, ella no tiene el manual. ¿No está usted en el chat, el embarazo? Sí, teacher. Ahorita ya, ya, ya lo logré abrir. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Perfecto. Thank you so much. 
Okay. Now, Thank Kevin you. is going to work with you right now. Kevin? Hola. See you in a moment. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Eh, yo creo que la número uno eh, tiene que ser absolute this one this home mark your top sherry first no sé qué dicen ustedes compañeros Sí. Kevin. Kevin. Hola. Ya, ya entendió. Me perdí la las preguntas. Si quiere dictémela. Vaya, la primera es where, where the world makes you to India. Ayúdeme, Reina. En la, eh, en la uno es What are the word Mark Used To indicate The Part of the Manufacturing process En la número uno Y la número dos Es What are the negative No es muy segura Correcto Any no, questions? No, by the moment, uh, no question. Uh, uh, we are answering the first question. And okay. We think the words are first and second. Yes. First, second, and. That's okay. Finally. Finally. Finally, exactly. Mm -hmm. First, second, and finally. Thank you very much. Right, I see you in a moment then. Okay, we have only okay. two minutes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Any questions, guys? Uh, no. no question. No questions. No questions. Okay, see you in a moment then. Okay. Okay. Que nos vamos a acostumbrar. O uh -huh. al idioma. Eso. Es que quizás eso es lo que ya tenemos que empezar a acostumbrarnos, porque si no, sí. o sea, es mentira, pues no nos vamos a adaptar, porque por lo menos en el trabajo yo puedo andar hablando, pero yo sola, pero y los demás no me entienden, me dicen, ya está loca. <risa> en cambio, por lo menos en la clase ya estamos como que, vaya, estamos practicando lo que aprendemos. Sí. Exactly. <risa> Sí. Okay. Que, mire, teacher, creemos, uh -huh. creemos que encontramos think, la respuesta. Uh -huh. Creemos, eh, we think. ¿Por qué? Porque, por ejemplo, en, en la pregunta 1, las palabras que Mark usó, que nosotros consideramos que son primordiales, es explicar primero, segundo y finalmente. Estas son las que nosotros. Ok, ¿cómo do you say that in English? Eh, first, second, and finally. Exactly. Very good. So, and creemos two, que la respuesta uh -huh. es, we think that and the answer think, is. We think that the answer uh, to the is. first question is first, mm -hmm. second, and finally. Perfect. There you are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So now we're going to go right now with the others. Let's go to the main room, okay? Hi everyone. Nice to see you again. Right. How was the practice? Easy, right? Yeah. Easy, yes. easy. Very good. Very good. Now let's go ahead and continue. I have like two people that can give their answers. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Susana's group. Can you go with answer number one? 
And let's go with number three, uh, Renes group. Okay, Susana's group, number one, what's the answer? Okay, the answer is first, uh, pardon, uh, sorry. Uh, the question is, what are the words mark used to indicate the part of the process? Uh, we, we consider uh, our, uh, the word is first, second, and finally. First, second, and finally. Do you agree to that answer, Elsa? Is that correct? First, second, and finally? Is yes, teacher, correct? because uh -huh. because describe the process. Because it describes the process. Very good. It describes the process. Very good. So now let's see answer for number two. Question number two. What do you have? Renee's group. Who is in Renee's group? Rene and Carlos, right? What's the answer? Yes. 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 Uh, the question number two, teacher. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the question is, uh, what are the negative sides of Mark's pearl? Uh, the answer, uh, uh -huh. the answer uh, in the word. The amount, for the me, amount. the amount of sugar. Okay, only high. one person at a time, because you sound like we are in tomate, tomate, la papa, la papa, la papa, la papa. Just one person, Don okay? Uh -huh. Don Carlos. First, okay. Don Carlos, okay, Don Carlos, okay. go ahead. For me, is the, the amount of sugar is too high. Yes. yes. Exactly. Very good. The amount of sugar is too high. Too high. That's the negative thing, supposedly, right? But sugar is... Yes. Good. Okay. That's the negative thing. And what is what is the, the, the other option? This is question number three. Aha. Uh -huh. Think about question number three right now, everyone. Right now. What is the good option? Because sugar is too high, right? So what is the good option that they are offering, Rene? The others, others option, negative. No, the, uh, the positive option that they offer. They have a positive option, right? Mm, yes. What is the positive option? The positive option. Mm -hmm. They have a bad option and a positive option. What's the positive option, Menaces? The possible option. Mm -hmm. mm. We have. Mm. No, teacher. I mean, point two. Okay. Delmi uh, raised her hand. Delmi, what's up? Um, Candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Very good. A candy bar and bubble gums with zero sugar. Very good. That's the good option, right? So they offer too high, but they also offer really good options, right? Very good. Now, we're going to continue here, right? Do you understand the conversation? Yes, they understand. Okay, very good. Very good. Just give me a moment. Let's continue here. After this conversation in the questions, just as a friendly reminder, remember that your book, it already has some links that you can use, right? After the class, of course, that you can use them for your class. Now, for practice, I'm sorry. I'm going to call the attendance again. Please pay attention for your attendance. Do not forget to put your complete names, right? Kevin, what's your last name, right? It has to be like your Dewey, please. Change it there. Now, let's see, Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. No? Andrea Laure Laurena, Laurena o Laureana? 
is Laureana. 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 You are like my friend, Laureana. Okay, so I will let them know. Okay. Andrea Laureana Vasquez Martinez. I'm here. Thank you. Carlos Mario Avendaño Peña. Here. Carlos, Carlos René Rivas López. Present teacher. Carmen René Calderón Vasquez. Calderón Present María Vasquez. Okay. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present Thank you. Francisco Nehemías Godina Surquilla. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Here. José Daniel Meneses Bolaños. Present. Elvin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Present. Present. Okay. Le falta Vladimir Gutiérrez. Vladimir Gutiérrez Castilla y póngaselo. Eh, Marlon Balmoris Dueñas Rodríguez. Hola, Yucateca. Present. Después se come la Yucateca. Maura Estela Orantes Fernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Present, teacher. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melara. Present. Reina Margarita. Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente, teacher. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez de Nieto. Present. Mario Alexander Artega Campos. Here, Arteaga, Arteaga. 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 Thank you. Aquí vamos a escribir en el chat. Es Laureana en Arteaga. Para que no se me olvide. No se me olvida. Eh, Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. No. Ok. Very good. So we got the attendance right now. Uh, anybody has a change on their names? Solo, solo ellos dos tienen un cambio en su nombre. Alguien más que se lo hayamos escrito incorrectamente? No. Okay. Sí, a mí sí, pero luego le voy a mandar. ¿Cómo es el nombre? Correcto. Okay. Mándelo ahí al chat. Muy bien. Okay. Let's continue. So your answers are correct. For us to describe processes, usually we use phrases like first, second, after, later, and so on, okay? So right now I have a small exercise for you, okay? This is a small exercise about something that we eat almost every week, okay? Almost every week. Unless you are on a diet, you are going to eat this, okay? So I'm gonna put here my computer, right? And come on. Can you see here my computer right now? Yes. I yes, see. okay, I look. very good. So it says here, how to make a pupusa. Right? So everyone here, unless you are, I don't know, from another country. Do I have people from another country here? Yes, no? Last year I had people from Colombia. Here, no? Okay. So we have how to make a pupusa, right? Here, this recipe is disorganized, okay? It's disorganized. It's not in order. So what I want you to do is to look at here right and put this in order right so you're going to tell me first second third fourth etc so for that we use phrases like this i want you to look at here right we're gonna use phrases like this first right sorry first comma second comma 
third, comma, we can use then, right? After, uh, we can use also the word finally or at the end, right? These are phrases that we can use, right? To create our recipe first, second, third, then after, finally, or at the end. Now, can you please repeat these words, Carmen René? Can you read these words again? Okay, third, second, third, then after, finally, at the end. At the end, thank you very much. Now, what are you going to do? You are going to put this in order, right? Make sure that the recipe is in the correct order because here it says, cook pupusas on a hot nonstick griddle until, may, until masa cakes are cooked through and lightly browned on both sides. Hmm, it's telling me that I have to put the pupusas on the comal first, right? But mm -mm, I don't think so. What do I have to do first, right? And this is a recipe that one of our friends did in, the, in another university, right? In the United States. So they made pupusas in Maryland, right? No, in Maryland. Uh, no, eh, sorry, it's not in Maryland. How do you call this place? In Minnesota, right? They went to Minnesota and they made pupusas. So this is the recipe that they used. So I want you to put everything in order, right? You're going to work in groups, of course, because we have a lot of new words, right? You can see we have a lot of new words. So do you understand what you're going to do? Is it clear? You're going to put everything in order, right? That's what we're going to do. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes? Marlon says, yeah. Easy peasy, yeah, clear. right? Clear. Very easy. Carlos says, it's easy. Okay. We're going to do this. No, it's not easy. <laughs> we are in beginner five. So we have been here five months. So we, we should be able to do it, right? So let's start here. Did you take a, did you take a picture of the, of the activity? No? Okay, let's let's take a picture again. Always, always, always take a picture, okay? Take a picture. Okay, ready? Yes. Yes, okay, very well. I will bring a lot of exercises, so always take pictures. Now we are going to go back to the groups, right? Let, let's make the breakout rooms. Da, 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 da. Bum, bum, bum. Recreate. We're gonna be three people in each room, okay? Everyone should participate. So let's start. Let's see how much time. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna be there for 10 minutes, right? No more than 10 minutes, so let's go. Select your groups. Select, 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 select. Click on yes. Reina Margarita, Estela Orantes, why aren't you in your groups? Reina and Estela, ¿por qué no están en su equipo? Reina y Estela. Reina en Estela. Estela Orantes, Reina Martínez.
Margarita, la voy a dejar sola porque usted no está participando y tengo que ver a los otros estudiantes. Quiero como activar su nace plataforma en línea. Sí, importante, solo pasa aquí. ¿A dónde? Al final está. Porque al final dice: importante, pasa a seguir antes de iniciar el curso. Enlace plataforma de aprendizaje. Ingreso de correo. ¿Cómo lo lleva tu usuario en la plataforma? Tenemos que ordenar la, la receta, ponerle los que va primero, segundo, tercero. Según la captura que ella nos mostró. Exactly. Thank you so much, Tell me. Okay. No la tiene, Estela. Eh, Menaces sent it to the, to the WhatsApp group. Mm, José la envió. Yes. Thank you. Después de la tercera, ¿cuál es? Perdón. Eh, mm, quiero ver. El gentle pad de cheese. Gentle cheese. Vale, repasemos. Repasemos pero okay. en orden. En orden. La primera, okay. maple pupusa. Ok. Uh -huh. Segunda. Shape the masa to into a bowl. Ok. Then. Esa sería la número dos. Number two. Shape the masa dog into a bowl. Into a bowl. Uh -huh. Then into a disc that is three to four inches wide. Wide. Number And, two. Yes. And number three. Uh, pitch of quesillo. Uh, yes. yes. Add the generous pitch uh -huh. of quesillo. This is number three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, sí. Eso es lo que pasa, o sea, ahí, ahí es de ir asociando nada más, ¿verdad? Para sí. sacar la deducción y entonces... Cabal, no hay que, ser, no hay, no, no hay que entender pal, palabra por palabra, como ah. que entiendan, lo demás se relaciona. Sí. Exacto. Hay que entender el principio y ir asociando y de ahí se saca. Proceso. ¿What? De abajo para arriba. ¿Really? Sí. De izquierda a derecha, izquierda a derecha, izquierda, hacia arriba. <laughs> ok, very good. Let's see later if you could make proposals. <laughs> <laughs> Then we practice. <laughs> okay, you practice, exactly. I see you in a moment. Ok. El, el queso. La bola. Pero dice, pero sí. la otra dice agregar generosamente, no sé qué es, pinch, de quesillo pinch. en el centro de la masa. Pinch, like, you take your pinch and you put it, pinch. Ah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Le... Uh -huh. Y generos y... Yo creo que es la segunda de la primera columna. The way chase cheese. 
¿Qué opina? En la tercera vamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, entonces dijimos la segunda de la primera columna. Sí. Add a generous pinch of quesillo. En el centro de la masa. El quesillo en el centro, algo así. Uh -huh. En el centro de la masa. Gentry es como sí, caballerosamente o generosamente, como usted dijo. Como suavemente, quizá. Ah, quizá. No, yo digo, este... Entonces, esa sería, ¿verdad? Pero dice la nota. La nota dice... También puede... Ah, que se puede poner frijoles, carne, vegetales o alguna otra combinación. Ah, pues sí, ¿verdad? Esa sería la sí. tercera. La tercera. Okay. Here's. Ya veamos la cuarta. Repetir, dice... Eh, quiero ver la otra. Pues sí, la, la cuarta sería la, la primera de la segunda Mira. columna, porque la, ajá. Francisco. La primera, la primera. Yo estoy todavía tratando de entender qué es lo que dice. Sí, que hay unas palabras que están. Inglés muy avanzado. <risa> Dichoso no, lo La fíjate. primera dice: cocinar la pupusa. Me imagino que en algo caliente. No el grid es bien. como hornilla, ¿verdad? Eh, como cocinar la, la, la pupusa en la plancha. Uh -huh. Una bola, luego en un disco de 3, 4 pulgadas de ancho. En la uh -huh. parte de abajo. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Ah, no, no. No, no, no. <risa> bueno, yo así voy a hacer mi pupusa. <risa> Gonna be a crazy pupusa. <risa> sí, una pupusa loca tiene que ser. <risa> Creería. Ok. ¿Did you finish? Yes. No. No, no yet? Aún no. No, aún no. Ok, see you in a moment, ok? Sí. Eh, yes. Ponemos eso entonces. Eh, voy. De plano va. Suavemente. Lindy. Pati masa. Masa. Lindy. Pasa a compartirlo en disco, vea. Repito. Uh -huh. Cuesta, pero ya me que, confundí. Pero ya. Uh... Yo igual ya me confundí porque aquí la están convirtiendo en disco. Pues el disco aquí ya, están, ya la están aplastando. Bueno, la Entonces esta sería, la, esta sería la tercera. Ah. Pero es que en esta la convierten en bola. ¿eh? Ah, no. Entonces sería la cuarta esta. Bro. Porque la tercera ya la está convirtiendo en en bolita y en la cuarta ya la estás aplastando. Mm. Entonces la cuarta es, es la... Es esta, gently. 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 Dejaría la cuarta, ¿no? ¿verdad? Ajá. Gently, claro. Oh. Gently. Ponga por la civil. <risa> Ni modo que nos salga más la pupus <risa> que, que nos salga al revés. Ah, porque esa sería la parte de en, ¿verdad? Pero sé con ser ten. Es que aquí está de y después ah, after ah. dice. Pero y como es una que le vamos a dar respuesta a Den. 
Those are examples. Uh -huh. Those are examples. Those are examples. If you want to use them, if not, you can use first, second, finally, for example. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, finally. Finally is the end. Right? Okay. Finally cook pupusas on a hot non-stick. <laughs> hot non-stick grill. So finally eat pupusas. <laughs> non-stick grill. 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 Uh -huh. Grill. Green. Grill. Grill like Grill. a comal. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, guys. Did you finish? Yes, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> I think that everyone did. So see you in a moment. Va a haber degustación. Oh. <laughs> I wish. I wish. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. So we're going to start working here, everyone. Hi. <laughs> we're going to start working with the answers. Let's check the answers, right? Let's check the answers here to make sure that you did this correctly. Let's take a look on this, right? Let me know if you can see what well, you already have the steps, right? And let's see what you got first, right? Let me ask, what is the first step? What is the first step for you, Elsa? What is the first step for you, for your group? The first step is um, make pupusa that with a sample mixture of masa harina, corn flour, salt, and water. Uh, huh? Dip your hands in a, in a mixture of warm water and um, a little oil. Then a scoop to eat them in. Mm -hmm. Then a scoop power a portion mm -hmm. of the little large than a golf ball. And a golf ball. Okay, that will be first for Elsa's group. Does everyone has this the same? First? Yes, teacher. Yes? Who has different? Who has another number number one? Everyone has the same? Yes, I see your face. Okay, okay. I don't know yet, but let's check. Susana, what about your group? Were you with Elsa? No, right? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, my, my group is Carmen and... Um, I don't recall the number. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Nelson. Nelson. Nelson, okay. Okay. Uh, the first? The first. Uh-huh. No, number two. What do you have in number two? Number two, uh, the second is shape the mesa dump into a bowl, then into a disc that is or, or three or four inch in. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Inches. Inches, inches wide. Why? So first mm -hmm. and second, you have the same. Yep. First and second. Okay. <laughs> so who has number or the next step? What is the next step, Mal Balmoris Duenas? Um, for our group, the third third step is add a generous pinch of quesillo to the center of the masa disc and gently fold the edges up all the way around until the cheese is sealed inside. Mm -hmm. Note that that you can also stuff them with beans, meat, vegetables, or or a combination of, of ingredients. Of ingredients, yes. You can put chicharrón. You can put everything, right, on the pupus. Okay. So first, second, third. What will be number next? Uh, let's see, Kevin. Okay. Uh, 
Sería then, ¿verdad? Huh? Then, ok, then. Then, cook pupusas on a hot non-stick griddle until mass, masa se pronuncia. Until, ah, uh, yeah, until masa, masa cakes. Uh -huh. Cakes are co cooked or cooked, trout and light brown on both sides. Okay, okay, Kevin's group is this step, right? Do you have the same step right now? Is this the same for you? Carlos? Frank? No. Oscar? No, it's not the same? What oh, do you have for no. them? For me, for my group is uh, uh, gently uh, pop the cheese fill or massa do ball back into a disc and repeat with remaining dust. Okay, so this one will be for you then. Okay, or number four, right? That's the same, okay. Number four. Number four or then. Good, good, good. What about the last one? This one, so it's, what is finally? Or at the end? Cupupusa. Cupupusas? This one will be finally? Yes. Can you read, uh, Nelson, the complete Good recipe? pupusas mm -hmm. on the... Oh, excuse me. Good pupusas on a hot noun stick. Grindle until masa cake and cook. Throw and lightly brown on the both sides. On both sides, okay. It's like you put the pupusa there to cook, right? Okay, so these are your answers, right? Let's check the recipe. Actually, the person who did this, the student who did this, is named Nelson too. That's his name. Okay, Nelson Vasquez, but let's check. Right? These are your answers, remember, right? The answers to this, this is the correct recipe. Right? We have five steps right here. Look at this. Check. Do you have the answers correctly? Yes? Yes. Very good. You have the correct answers. Correct. Right? Very good. Now, there are a lot of new words here, but... There was a comment that one of your classmates made to understand this type of things. Uh, you don't have to understand everything. So Carlos, very good comment. Very, very good comment. You don't have to understand 100% of the words. What I noticed today is that most of you translate into Spanish. Try not to translate too much. If you translate a lot of from English to Spanish, then your brain is going to have problems to understand English later on, okay? That's why when someone is speaking to you in English all the time, you say, ¿Qué está diciendo? because your brain wants to translate everything, right? Ustedes quieren traducir todo lo que uno les dice inmediatamente, right? But you can't, it's impossible unless you are an interpreter. They can do that. Interpreters is like, pfft. No sé cómo hacen. I don't understand how do they do that, right? They translate everything from English to Spanish very quick. That's why it's difficult for you to do that. Don't translate. Try to understand. If you say how to make a pupusa, make, okay, pupusa, yes, I understand, right? You don't have to understand everything. At least 50%. We are principiante simple, right? So we're not there yet, but we will be. Right. So now, how was your pupusa? It was good? You cooked the pupusa correctly? Yes? Yes? Okay, very good. No? Carmen says no. <laughs> Something happened to, to, to that, uh, you know, the, their pupusas, right? It was not cooked well. Now, this is how we manufacture, right? If you see when we manufacture, we don't have to create a big thing, we don't have to create a robot, we don't have to create a machine, we can create many things in our work, right? We can say the process, for example, of teaching a class, right? You manufacture something, you create something, 
right? The process of answering a call, right? And you can say that. The, for example, if you are a receptionist, right? If someone here is a receptionist, there is one thing you have to do first when there is someone there, right? Hi, welcome to XX Company, right? My name is Fulanita, and who do you want to talk to? Right? That is something that you have to say. It's your step number one, right? To do that, now we're gonna go ahead and work together. I am going to show you again your book. Right? Can you see the book? Yes? No? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. So we have here some words that we can use when we are manufacturing, right? Or creating something, right? These are the steps in a process, right? That's what we do. Now, Carlos Avendaño, can you read here, please, these words? Okay. First, second, third, then, later, after, right after, next, finally. Finally, very good. So we have these words that they help us to tell, uh, to say the process of things, right? The process. For example, when someone tells you how, oh, let's see here, how to send a message in WhatsApp. Mario, what do you do first to send a message in WhatsApp? What do you do first? What is your first step? Mario Alexander Artiaga? Hi, hi, Miss. Uh, ah, sorry. He's sending <laughs> messages. That's why I'm asking uh -huh. him. What is your first? What is your first step to send a WhatsApp message? Uh, what do you do first? Mi nombre, WhatsApp. No. Yeah. What? <laughs> no. Uh, first, uh, Alexander. First, Alexander. No. What do no. you do? I I have my phone here, right? I have my phone. I want to send a WhatsApp message to Andrea. What do I do? What do I do first? I have my phone here, but I don't know, right? What do I do? I want to send a message in WhatsApp to Andrea. What do I do? Tell me. First... First, I lock the number for I will great. Andrea, and I, I cannot look for the number here. It's, it's blocked. It's locked. What do I do? Andrea, I don't know. I don't know how to look for it. It doesn't uh, do anything. Un, unlock the phone? First. Un, un, unlock the screen. Okay, first I unlock the phone. Okay, very good. I unlocked the phone, yay, okay, very good. I unlocked my phone, it's open. I look, what do I do now? Second, I want to send a WhatsApp message. Second, Tell me the process. Open the, open the app. Open the app, which app? Facebook? WhatsApp. What's oh, I opened WhatsApp, okay, very good. I Prefer opened WhatsApp. WhatsApp, very good. I have WhatsApp here. Now? Share for name. Hmm? Search for name. For third, I search for the name. Which name? I forgot. Andrea. Andrea. Okay. I have one, five Andreas on my phone. Oh my God. But yes, I have Andrea Laureana here. Okay. Very good. What do I do next? I have the, the Andrea here. Okay. Now what? The great. Right. Touch the, the number. I touch the number. Okay. Very good. Sure. I touch the name. Very good. I touch the name. I have opened the the conversation. Very good. I have it here. 
you won't see it, but I have it. Now, finally, what do I do? Or next, what do I do? Write the message. I type the message, okay. Hello, Andrea. Very good. Hello, Andrea. I put here, hello, Andrea. Finally? Send the message. Send the message. Very good. Give an applause to yourself. Very good. Give an applause to yourself. You did it. Uh, Very good. Yes. That's how you <laughs> give instructions, right? You give instructions telling people what to do, right? And for that, you use imperatives, okay? If you look at this information, look at this. First, second, third. Yes, we're working with that, but always you start, you always start with a verb, okay? First, open. First, uh, combine. Second, send a message and you continue. You always start with a verb, not with a subject, right? Look at the, the conversation also for the, sorry, the recipe for the pupusa, right? We have the recipe here for the pupusa. You see, you, here, first, make a pupusa, shape, add, gently pat, you know, pat, cook the pupusas. Those are verbs. Right? And that is structure, when we start with a verb, we call it imperatives or commands. Right? When people tell you what to do, teachers, we always give commands to students. We say, listen, repeat, right? Those are commands. If we if we were in the class, you know, at the building in Le Calon, right? In the class, we'll be like, stand up, sit down, etc. Right? So that would be a command, an imperative. And we always do that when we have a recipe. Now, what are we going to do here? We have, do you understand the words first, second, and all that? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. Yes? Easy, right? Easy words. So I want yes, you to sure. practice your pronunciation right now, please. Uh, Andrea, number one. Read the information. Uh, number uh, first, teacher, I want to say how to you. Uh, pardon, is how to say um, margar margarine. Margarine. ¿Cómo se dice margarine? margarine. Yes. Okay. Margarine. Okay. First, com combine margarine, sugar to eggs, and vanilla. Vanilla. Very good. Number two, Carmen. Second, separately combined flour, baking powder, and salt. Okay, very good. Everyone repeat separately. Separately. Then, uh, Carmen Rene, repeat separately. Separately. Okay. Everyone repeat flour. 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 You know, yes, flour. like the flowers. Like the flowers uh -huh. that you put in your hair here is the same pronunciation. Right? The flowers, you know, this one. Okay, ones? flower. Uh -huh. oh. Right? Oh. It's the same. <laughs> right? Flower. But this is multiple purposes flowers, like lo que usamos para hacer tortitas, right? Flower. Now, eh, tell me, number three. Good morning, teacher. Un moment, teacher. Third, mm -hmm. combine both mixture with milk. With milk. Combine both mixtures with milk. Very good. Number four, please help me. Jose Daniel. Later, chill for one hour. Okay, later. Repeat, later. later. Hour. 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 Later. Chill for one hour. Repeat. Later. Chill for one hour. Very good. Elsa, number five. Uh, 
After roll the mixture to about a quarter inch thick. 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 Thick, exactly. Thick. Number six, Helen. Next, cookies. Cookies, yes. And finally, Rene Rivas. Finally, finally bake for uh, 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Those cookies are ten. going to be raw. No ten minutes. Yes. It's too much. What what are we cooking with this? With this? What are we cooking? What are we cooking? Cookies. Um. Cookies, yes. We're making cookies, right? Supposedly. Uh, next, cookies. For 10 minutes, I'm not sure. Right? Maybe I did this recipe because cookies for 10 minutes? Not so no sure. No se no, no se I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, we have these phrases, right? We have these recipes, right? Now, we are going to work with this, right? It says dark chocolate espresso for the ones who like you know coffee right dark chocolate espresso it can help us too it says made with our smooth dark chocolate in chunks of our organic espresso beans get your chocolate and coffee fix all at once with this delicious treat for two dollars very good Right. So what would what we need to do is we can then we we have these uh these uh, steps this process right. What I need you to do is to put the numbers in which you believe are going to be correct. Okay. Now it's nine forty four. So we're going to finish. Uh, we're going to try to put this together. And then we are going to share the answers by right, tomorrow, okay? But we're going to start right now. We're going to start right now. We're going to do this with the same people that you worked with before, okay? Do you understand what we're doing here? What you are going to do? It's pretty much what you did with the pupusa. You're going to put everything in order. The only thing here is that you have more steps, right? Number one is we process top quality, blah, 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 right? That's step number one. And then you have to see what are the others, right? Now, do you understand this, this exercise? Is it clear? Yes? Okay. More or less. <laughs> More or less. Okay, so, so. <laughs> Let's go ahead and continue here. Only... Everyone is going to work in groups of three, just Andrea and Helen, two, and tell me and Maria, two, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Click on your group. Click on your group. Click on your group, please. Pero se acuerda que yo les dije que me, me, me parecía raro. Mm. <risa> pero sí. Sí, pero en eso bueno, fallamos. Estuvimos Casi. Cerca. Casi. Solo okay. esta fallamos. Uh -huh. okay. aquí, aquí vamos a hacer un, cho un... chocolate negro. Ajá, un chocolate negro. <risa> 
Quiero ver. Está difícil. It is. It is difficult. It's difficult, yeah. teacher. <laughs> very, very difficult. Y porque habla que de Cocoa más goes straight to the factory in La Unión o Santa Ana. Ah, oh. O sea, en la Unión o Santa Ana. Teacher, what is mean pin mill? ¿Eh? What is mean pin mill? Uh, uh, mm. At the chocolate factory, we pass the crumbs through a pin mill. Oh, a pin mill. Let me show you a picture of a pin no. mill. I think I can show you pictures here. I'm not sure. Okay. This is a... <clears throat> They say, I can show you pictures. For example, when you make tortillas, right? Like, uh, how can I say? Tortillas that, 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 that are made in a, in a grill, right? Okay. You put the corn into a pin meal. So you put the corn and then you start making the dough with the corn, right? Mm. It's something like this. I don't know. I can show you a picture, so I'm gonna try to draw it for you. Right, this is like a pin meal. Okay. Right? Yeah. And you pretty much put here the the beans or the chocolate, right? And then after you get the dough from this because they get processed. Sometimes you use the pin meal with your hand, and sometimes you have to go to a place to mm -hmm. do right. Okay. So what okay. is a what is a pin meal, Carmen? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Molino. Exactly. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, wait. Check this mm -hmm. out. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it's very deep. Fresh warm milk. Después, eh, creo que es, we add sugar, y el condenser mío become a bicocoa más. Agregamos azúcar condensada, leche con alguna, con, con no, algo pero, de cocoa. Pero ahí habla de cocoa más. Uh -huh. pero, entonces, antes creo que hay que hacer esa cocoa más, creía yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí. Probable. Uh -huh. Oh. Pero abajo dice ¿Ve? que la cocoa más dice viene de, de la fábrica que está en la Unión no, o Santa no, Ana. Dice. No, no, eh, dice que no. la, esa cocoa más ah, se envía va directo a las fábricas en la Unión o Santa Ana. Exactly, goes straight to. Ajá. Um, Oh, chica, chocolate. Cocinamos los ingredientes de ese. Para mí la tercera sería The Milk Evaporate to make milk chocolate cream. <coughs> Vamos a ver. Hemos visto según lo que yo hablé, ¿verdad? Si les parece, ustedes me dicen. Uh -huh. Vaya, ahí está. Eh, Miss licenciada, ¿Sí? le podemos una ¿Sí? consulta. Eh, ¿Verdad que lo que tenemos, bueno, lo que tenemos de, de pregunta es, eh, ¿se van a entrelazar la columna? A con la B o hacemos el mismo que con las pupusas. Solo seguimos los pasos. Yeah, you follow the steps. Yes. One, ah. two, three, four, five until you get to number 10. So yes, you, you will ah. try to combine them. Mm -hmm. For example, ah. we process the quality cocoa beans. That's number one. Maybe ah. you have number two in the other column. All right, so ah, we okay. just put the numbers. A coffee crazy. <laughs> Correct. 
<laughs> ok, gracias. Thank you. Eh, Delmi, entonces. Eh, The chocolate factory. We pass. He will. In the mirror. Y esta que dice, we add sugar to the condensed milk. Ajá, esa le estaba diciendo de some en the cocoa más. Ajá. Ajá. Number three. Number three. Pero, pero y, y we prove a rice cream chocolate. 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 Thank you. Y esta, we cook these ingredients together. Number, Number four. four. We cook. Uh, mm. Y the milk evaporates. To make milk. ¿Qué es crumbs? Um, crumbs. Yes. Uh, crumbs. Crumbs are pieces of things. For example, sometimes that you eat bread, right? You eat bread, uh, pan dulce, right? And you're eating, sometimes you have crumbs, like little pieces of bread that are left. Ah, okay. Como pedacitos. Exactly. How do you Mi, say? Migajas. <laughs> migajas. Very good, Helen. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. Entonces, eso sería de las primeras. Y la que está abajo que dice, we produce a rich, creamy, chocolate, li chocolate liquid. Nosotros producimos. Ah, donde dice rich cream. Ajá. Esa sería nombre. <laughs> si esa es la number three, antes sería la donde dice the milk evaporates to make milk. Esa sería la número cuatro. Mm -hmm. Next, we brought a rich cream chocolate. Like. Mm, ajá. Vaya. We produce. Sería la cuatro en number five. We cook these ingredients together. Mm. Sí, porque después vamos a, a mezclar la leche. La ah, leche. Se la mezcla. Ajá. Vale, entonces number num, number six sería the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate crumbs. Ajá, we're, okay. we're going to stop right now for a moment, okay? And then we're gonna continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Next. Hello everyone. Teacher, come on. Hello. <laughs> We're going to continue uh, tomorrow. A little bit confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a confusing process, right? Mostly it is short time. Yeah, 
but we'll, we'll finish tomorrow. Okay, we'll finish tomorrow. Now, we're going to continue there because it's two minutes to 10, right? So I need to call the attendance one more time before you go. So Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. Andrea Laureana Vázquez Martínez. I am here. Carlos Mario Vendaño Peña. Here, please. Carlos René Rivas López. Present teacher. Carmen René Calderón de Vázquez. Present teacher. Delmi Guadalupe Gómez Landa Verde. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón Alvarado. Mm -hmm. Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present, Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Nehemías Godínez Urquía. Present. Helen Dionelli Barraza de Jerez. Present. José Daniel Meneses Bolaño. Present. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez Castillo. Present. Marlon Balmoris Doña de Rodríguez. Present. Mauro Estela Orantes Fernández. Present. Nelson Domínguez Díaz Alas. Present. Oscar Mauricio Montenegro. Present, teacher. Reina Margarita Martínez de Castillo. Roxana Elizabeth Méndez Melaro. <coughs> Rubén de Jesús Campos Gómez. Presente, teacher. Susana Esmeralda Jiménez de Nieto. Presente, teacher. Mario Alexander Arteaga Campos. Diana Carolina, here, Guevara, here, here. Diana Carolina Guevara Ortiz. Claudia Carolina Ventura Canales. Okay. So this is the class for today. According to the list, I'm supposed to have today Ana Mercedes Amaya Corado. She's not here. Would anybody else like to take the 10 minutes after the class? If you want to, we have a spot for one person. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Please connect at 8. Okay, 8 p.m., not 8.20, not 8.15, 8. Okay, teacher. Okay, please okay. be on time. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Nice meeting you today. Guys. Thank Be you. Sure. Yeah. Yes, uh, Oscar. Lo puedes hacer el favor de mandar el. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. El, el, el módulo. Yes. We'll do so. El, el folleto. Yes. WhatsApp para sacarle copia. Por okay. Favor. Perfect. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Have a beautiful night. I will Good send night. it right now, Oscar. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, bye. Bye. ¿Y quién se queda ahora? Nadie se va a quedar, supuestamente. Hoy le toca a la señorita Amado Corado. Amaya Corado. Oh. Usted me dice que le envíe el... El, uh, oh, ya lo acaba de enviar José Meneses. Oh, ah, okay. Usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, ya me uní. Okay. Ahí, ahorita, ya lo vio. Ahí lo puede eh, descargar. Okay. Susana Esmeralda okay. Jiménez Osorio, ya lo puso acá. Él es... y, ¿Sí? y lo otro, ahí sería para todos. Y lo puede mandar también usted por WhatsApp el listado para saber quién va de cada noche. Sí, 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 lo voy a enviar hoy. A usted le corresponde Oscar el día 16, Oscar Mauricio sí. Montenegro. Uh -huh. O sea, sí, falta todavía. <ríe> Pero si en dado caso alguien no se queda, así como hoy, usted tiene alguna pregunta y usted ve el espacio, usted se puede quedar. No hay ningún problema. Ahora no sé si tiene alguna pregunta. Bueno, aprovechemos ahorita. Ajá, dígame. Es que como, bueno, no sé si a todos los pasos así, pero yo estaba aquí. No hallaba como la traducción. ¿La como traducción? Sí, sí, como decir, fue puro inglés. <risa> <risa> inglés toda la clase. Sí, es que tiene que ser en inglés para que aprendamos. Si no, sí. nos va a costar más después. Cuando llegamos a, al intermedio, que ya son... Ya solamente un módulo más de básico les queda, que es el principiante 6. Sí. Luego se van para intermedio y ahí ya es más inglés que, 
que cualquier otra cosa. Entonces ustedes tienen que practicar. Por eso les decía de que no hay que traducir tanto eh, lo que estamos viendo. Trate de entender un porcentaje de lo que dice. ¿Ok? Si yo le digo una palabra y usted entendió, eh, digamos, eh, I want to make a payment. Y usted entendió payment, que era pago. pago ¿qué, ¿Qué me quiso decir de pago? Algo me quiso decir de pago. ¿Ok? Entonces, ahí yo voy relacionando. Pero si usted, cuando yo le doy un ejercicio, trata de traducir todo el ejercicio, luego lo que sucede, Oscar, es que cuando yo les esté hablando, ustedes van a tratar de estar traduciendo lo que yo digo inmediatamente. ¿Ok? Sí. Entonces, eso es casi imposible porque necesitamos entrenamiento para traducir cuando alguien está hablando al mismo tiempo. Se llama interpretación. Y no te, yo no, por ejemplo, yo no puedo interpretar. Y soy profesora de inglés. Entonces, ¿por qué? Porque no tengo entrenamiento para hacerlo. Cuando me dice, ¿y qué estás diciendo? ¿Qué el gringo? ¿Qué? En mi cabeza va a explotar porque yo no, no, sí lo entiendo, pero luego transmitirlo al español me cuesta. Entonces, lo mismo les está pasando a ustedes. Sí saben sí. lo que estoy diciendo, pero lo quieren entender palabra por palabra. Entonces, trate de no traducir. Trate de entender. Com comprensivo. Comprensivo, exactamente. Si usted de la clase entendió un 50%, perfecto. ¿Ok? Si mañana entendió un 30%, perfecto. Pero entendió ese 30% que usted no lo tradujo, sino que lo entendió. Es cierto. Uh -huh. Okay, Entonces, así sí, y así vamos a tratar de hacer que sea totalmente en inglés para que ustedes vayan, se vayan adaptando más su oído y vayan practicando más. ¿Ok? Está bien. Okay. Muchas gracias. <ríe> no hay ningún problema, Oscar. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Algún otro comentario? ¿Algo que, que, que quisiera que aplicáramos? Si está en la medida de lo posible, se va a hacer. Menos traducir. <ríe> <Claro>. <ríe> ¿No? Los verbos, sí, va, los verbos hay que aprenderlos. Los, sí, los... señor, los verbos hay que aprenderlos. Lo que voy a hacer ahorita ¿Cómo? es tal vez enviarles algunos libros para que los son tenga. Los... Sí, ya, ya. Ah, son como 300 verbos. No, hombre, si son más. Sí, son más, no se preocupe. Son muchísimos ah, más. Okay. <ríe> va, pues, Ahí le van a faltar por... un montón. Está bien. Ah, pues, solamente. Uh -huh. Solamente. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, eh, nos, ve, nos vemos mañana. Primero, adiós. Muchas gracias. Bye, bye. Thank, bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. bye. bye.